Ms. Johnson, Mr. Wood used to be your boyfriend, and some time ago, as a matter of fact, well, over a year ago, it is your claim that he vandalized your car. The reason that this case took so long to be filed, according to you, was that Mr. Wood spent a year in jail. As soon as he was released, you filed the case. Yes, ma'am. When did the incident happen? That was in April of 2015? Yes, ma'am. April what? Fourth. You'll tell me about it in a minute. Mr. Wood, were you incarcerated for a year? Yes, ma'am. From when to when? From November of 2015 to June of 2016. Were you in jail at all between April and November? No. No. So you really had sufficient time in which to file a lawsuit against him before you went to jail. Yes. You want to tell me why you didn't? After the incident, I thought he would be a person of his word and take care of the damages like... He said he would. I want to ask you this question, Ms. Johnson. Between April the 4th, 2015, and November of 2015, did you see Mr. Wood? Not after that, no, ma'am. Not after April 4th? No, ma'am. Is that correct, Mr. Wood? Yes. Okay. When you say you thought he would be a person of his word, did he say he would pay for the damage? Yes. On what date? After the incident. Um, On the, the ex date would be the following day or a couple days afterwards. In a text message. You have the text message? I do not. Did you text him? No. He, he texted, texted you? Yes. Is that right? Well, I simply said I would help her with her car. You would help her? I said I would help her because... Well, I mean, she didn't need her car moved from one place to another, right? Right. She needed her car fixed. Right. And you said, I'll help you with it. Yes. Okay, now let me see why you agreed to help her with it. Ms. Johnson, you want to tell me what happened on April 4th of 2015? Yes. We had been to dinner. Everything seemed okay. He had gotten an attitude, was picking a fight with me in the vehicle. I... You mean after dinner? Yes, after dinner. So on the way was home... was driving? I was. He... I just kept trying to ask him to stop arguing with me, stop being disrespectful, stop whatever it is you're doing. And it just started getting out of hand. I was fearing... I didn't know how he was going to react to the way he was being. And my witness here, Rick, I pulled in his driveway to get help because I didn't know where it was going to escalate. What, was it? what were you arguing about? I honestly don't even know why the attitude or the anger or the Do you fight. remember, Mr. Wood? Um, yes, I do, but uh, we weren't going to dinner. She come and picked me up. She wanted to meet and go to the casino. So I met her in town and dropped my motorcycle off, and I got in the car with her, and we were heading to the casino, and I got a phone call from... Just a second. Does that sound familiar? Yes. Okay. So you weren't out for dinner. You were going to the casino. You met in town. Right. You had a motorcycle? Yes. So you left your bike and we, you drove? Yes, ma'am. And you were on the way to the casino? This was on after the casino. Okay, so you had gone to the casino? Right. Did you drink at the casino? Yes, ma'am. Did you drink at the casino? No. Okay, that's not true. That's not true. Shh, 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 shh. Did you have anything to drink at the casino? No, I was on probation. Oh, okay. <laughs> Were you ultimately violated on your probation? Uh, yes, I was. Is that why you spent this time in jail? Yes. And the violation of the probation was? Uh, it was just a uh, failed drug test for my probation. All right. 